Hi guys, welcome back to Shrink Racing with me, Shaggy Scooby 66. Today we're with the Amateur Racing Club and the MX5 Challenge. Just let me pause this. And um, before we start, let me wish you all a very happy new year. Hope you're all still well and uh, keeping yourselves healthy. Go. Um, so um, this is um, the final three races of the MX-5 Challenge. A um, bit of a disappointment, only uh, seven uh, seven drivers uh, racing, um, and we'll get these going off the line and see where we are. I so say we're at the uh, we're at seaside, um, and. Um, Oh, Shaggy gets a good start there. You all close up. Shaggy's in a sandwich, can't go anywhere. Come down, run down to the first corner. Shaggy's just been um, crowded out there, but we'll see how they go. Everyone through the first corner. Oh, Sir so I've just got a bit of a twitch on there. So for uh, Peter Mister, Les Pants, Jambo, Darkest One, Bright Spark at the back, but everyone's still close together. No shenanigans as we go into the hairpin. Everyone round, that's great racing by everyone. So we're going to go down the hill through the uh, through the sweeps. Hardly any breaking at all for these. Just keep your foot in. And then um, down to the next hairpin. So Fred Pete missed it. There's pants, just a bit of a gap. Jumbo, darkest one. Shaggy breaks back. Shaggy goes through. Oh, Shaggy too late on the brakes there. Clips the wall, slows him down, so Shaggy at the back. As we're going to go through the chicane of death, which um, isn't. Um, in this car, the, chic the chicane of death is, um, well, keep your foot in and um, get your line right. It, it's, it, it's, it's, I wouldn't even really say it's a challenge. So, last corner. And we're going to come and complete the uh, first lap with Peter Mister um, in the lead, followed by Surfer Ev, Les Pants, and a gap to Jumbo, then a gap to Darkest Swarm, Bright Spark, and Shaggy. Up at the front, Peter Mister, Surfer Ev still going through it. Um, the thing with this car, especially this track, you've got to you've got to break the slipstream, or you've got to keep in the slipstream, going side by side as we go into the uh, first of the um, hairpins. So forever with a better line goes through, keeping it nice and neat as we're going to go through the uh, sweeps. I have to say it's a lovely course here at Dragon Trail Seaside. Who doesn't like to be beside the sea on a cold winter's day? Some parts of the country have got snow, but not here at, at the seaside. Brilliant sunshine. Big gap between fourth and fifth now. Shaggy's got up into the uh, sixth place. So we've got a couple of battles uh, and then um, a couple of um, people that are by themselves. We'll watch these guys go through the uh, chicane of um, calm. As you can see, yeah, there's just, um, doesn't really bear a challenge in these cars. I can hear your friend there, the darkest one. I 
nicely through the last corner bright spark on a, a bit of a wider line might have compromised his exit speed there but up ahead we've got three-way battle surf rev peter mister bless pants and we go three wide into the first corner good drive in there by all three of them a little bit of um, taps but nothing untoward but the beneficiary of that is uh, Sir Freevy as Pants now up to second Peter Mister in third Jambo still sticking there I know that uh, this tracks uh, one of uh, Jambo's favourites so once again down by the sweeps which are not really um, an overtaking zone but so a third of the rest and oh Pete goes for a late, late, late cut back oh great move there by Pete so Pete up into second place last pants down into third these guys are still keeping with them you don't want to be battling now you don't want to keep into that slipstream don't want to let Sir forever get away because once you lose a slipstream uh, you've lost the battle Jambo's there trying hard just to keep in the uh, slipstream as these three keep battling with each other that's helping him out oh Pete's gone wide oh he's hit the barrier kept his foot in uh, but that is going to compromise him and uh, yeah so Jambo goes up into third place Pete goes down into fourth that's going to leave Sir Rev and Les Pants up at the front now Pete's going to have dirty tyres uh, we'll leave cleaned up before uh, this corner in the background there we are three wide right back shaggy darkest one there having their own little race race within a race uh, and this this is what happens is that um, you get you get into little groups and um, you, you just pull each other along so bright spark um, just drops off the end of this but he'll soon be back there shaggy and darkest one um, going for it we've had a bit of a Christmas break and um, the cars will be a little bit heavier because I'm sure that everyone's uh, gained a bit of weight over the Christmas period and the new year so the cars might seem a bit sluggish um, but of course the, uh, the uh, daily races here are oh massa I thought I thought darkest one had got it wrong there, but massive um, um, glitch. I think he needs to uh, have a look at his uh, internet connection. Always hard when you've got someone who's glitching because you don't actually know where the car is. So let's just have a look up front. Uh, Sir Free Beast still ahead of Les Pants. Jambo there in third place. I'm surprised that Pete's um, dropped off. Went a little bit deep there. Shaggy and the darkest one still going up. Oh, darkest one went a bit wider there. Or was that a glitch? Bright Spark. Oh, Bright Spark's. Um, looking at the last lap round. Oh, he's had a terrible lap. Um, something's gone wrong there but two people that aren't having a terrible lap uh, Surf Rev and Les Pants still going at it still uh, 
as he's still keeping uh, in the uh, slipstream of uh, Seferov. Chambo's just uh, losing touch with these two now. He's definitely going to be out of the slipstream. So as we come into the uh, second of the three hairpins, basically this uh, track is a, a triangle. This one's right up in the uh, slipstream of Shaggy, so can the darkest one do anything about Shaggy this time round? Has a look. Look, Shaggy's on the uh, wider line, gave room there. Great racing by these two, showing a lot of respect to each other. Again, the darkest one in that slipstream is pulling closer and pull up closer. Darkest one pops out. No breaks early though. So this battle rage is on. Peter Mister's caught up to Jambo. Now we know how Jambo doesn't like being closely followed. Is this going to rattle him? Compete uh, force Jambo into making a, uh, a mistake somewhere. I say Pete isn't a slow driver. He's, he's hit the 57s. Um, Piece are on the inside of the uh, top hairpin. Goes through. Chambo doesn't fight it. So, can Jambo now use Pete's slipstream? And can these two um, get themselves up? So, Farav. Still ahead of Les Pants, is Les just uh, taking his time? Of course, no tyre wear, no fuel wear in the first race, or the second race. Oh, so Fred went a bit wide. Les has got, has Les? No, Les hasn't got a run on him. Oh, Les puts his um, indicators on. Uh, I think Les might have just had a little bit of a touch, so backed out of that one. So, a good clean race in there. But as I say, a lot of respect by the drivers. It's just a shame that a few more didn't um, join. But you never know, some more might join for the second race. So, Pete's still ahead of Jambo. Shaggy's still ahead of the darkest one. Um, Break Spark's just dropped off now. Just had a couple of um, bad laps. But the darkest one is he, he's oh he's got a little bit of an over no he can't force his advantage. But fantastic racing. I have to say that the darkest one is uh, one of the uh, nicest guys in co in comms. Um, Really respectful, he's, he's a respectful driver. He's, um, I think that might come down to him being a Canadian. Canadians are one of the nicest people um, on the planet, I think. Um, I've never known a, never met a Canadian I didn't like. So we approach 13 and a half minutes, so that's it's going to be one more lap after this lap. So I can surf forever, uh, keep Les Pants behind you for just one more lap. Let's try a different line there. Hasn't really done him, but these two guys running in the 57s and quite a lot. 
yeah this is definitely going to be the um, last lap for the for everyone Jambo's caught right there oh J Jambo going to make a, um, a lunge on the inside no pulls back up ahead surfer is still ahead of Les Pants Pete keeps that line darkest one's got ahead of Shaggy so can Shaggy fight back right spike still at the back so we've got um, darkest one just seems to have pulled out a little bit of a gap on Shaggy So for Ev still um, still keeping his nose ahead of Les Pants. Looks like um, Pete and Jambo are still going at it as well. But Shaggy's um, got tremendous speed out of the um, out of the sweeps. He's gonna look at it. They're gonna go side by side going into the last corner. Shaggy's. Oh, brilliant move there by Shaggy, if I do say so myself, nice and clean, nice and respectful by the darkest one, trying not to, not closing the door either. So, oh, Les has gone into first place, coming up to the last corner. Can he do anything? Can he keep that line? Surfer Ev. So the only, the only lap you have to lead is the bit where you cross the line so looks like Les has got this Les Pants your winner followed by Surfer EV Peter Mister and Jambo third and fourth and we have a drag race to the line Shaggy gets it ahead of the darkest one and in last place is going to be Bright Spark uh, fantastic little rest there hope you all agree and um, this is uh, Shaggy saying thanks very much